Aloha friends and family, it's Parker Paredes with Wizard Hawaii and in partnership with Miley Productions, we're here at Hawaii Judo Academy with Mr. Ryan Lowry. Ryan, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, thank you. Right on, Ryan. Yeah. Thanks for joining us tonight. Happy to be here. So Ryan, we just wow. finished training. You've been here for what, how, how long now? Uh, let's see, I'd say about a year. Okay, excellent. And in that, you know, you're one of my training partners, Ryan, and in that year you've made leaps and bounds. Your game has changed a lot. So tell me about when you first started, um, what were some of the things that you enjoyed? Fast forward to today, what are the things that you still love and you, that you enjoy in jujitsu? So when I first started, um, it was that uh, reawakening or feeling of uh, joy in the art, in, in, in the hard work, uh, sure. perseverance, sure. discipline, because I trained a uh, different martial art okay. 15, 20 years ago. Um, and I stopped after having kids and kind of just settling down. Um, and now, uh, after getting back into it, I'm rediscovering how that felt. And uh, it, was a, it was a different art. Sure. Uh, I trained an uh, Academy of Kempo Martial Arts in Bellevue, Washington. Okay. Um, and it used to be called Temple Kung Fu. Okay. Uh, and so we, it's kind of a transition between Kung Fu and Karate. Uh, but uh, so I, I trained there for about three to five years. There was some time off for injuries. Uh, and then, you know, fast forward to today. Uh, when I met you guys, uh, I, I really knew nothing about jujitsu, okay. honestly. Um, the only thing I knew was what I watched in UFC, sure. like one, one through 10 or something yeah, like that yeah, back yeah, yeah. in the day, in uh, Hoist Gracie. Yeah, the early um, days. And uh, I, I knew that the uh, UFC kind of took the different arts and pitted them against each other. And then it kind of funneled down to, uh, you know, modern day, which is mostly just a little bit of kickboxing and mostly sure. groundwork. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, that's what kind of drove me to, to pick something okay. uh, in, in this art. Sure. Um, and uh, uh, I just did a search on Google Maps and boom, here I am. <laughs> and you found Hawaii Judo Academy? Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome. So, Ryan, you started in Washington. What brought you to Hawaii? Oh, shoot. Um, better weather. Okay. <laughs> Chasing the weather like most? Yeah, well, Washington's kind of gloomy, gloomy, wet, cold sure. for about six months. Ago. Sure. So it's, it's a little bit warmer here. Okay. More pleasant. So a year on the mats here with Hawaii Judo Academy. I see you going between our judo team and yes, our jujitsu team. So tell me about that. Is there a lot of crossover? Do you enjoy the discipline of the stand-up art and the throwing and then the grappling in, in jujitsu here? Yeah, so initially um, for the first few months, uh, I felt like um, when I was doing stand-up, doing the initial beginning part of uh, uh, rolling, uh, I didn't see a lot of confidence on my feet. Sure. Um, and, you know, watching the, the, the guys downstairs train, you know, it's like, you know, I feel like there was something more that could be added if I tried that. And I didn't find out until later that judo and jujitsu are the same art that just split, became siblings sure. <laughs> over time. Yeah. Um, so uh, now that I've been training in both judo and jujitsu for roughly a year, um, it's, uh, it's helped me gain more balance, more stability. Um, and in certain circumstances, uh, an advantage to, you know, know which way to move or maybe to throw my weight to off balance my opponent. Right, right. Because that's, that's the next step is getting to the ground. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome that you do bring that up and you, and you pull that history of judo and jujitsu because the early days when Kimura came, came from Japan to Brazil yeah, yeah. and against Helio, there was, boom, things were born there and there was judo, jiu-jitsu, the Japanese influence in Brazil. It's, um, it's a fascinating history once you start to look at it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, Ryan, um, tell me, what is your favorite? You're a tough guy to roll with. You're strong. You're Thank big. You. Um, tell me, what are some of the favorite moves that you that One you that you here? taught me, sure. actually all of us, uh, was uh, when the opponent goes in for a single leg takedown, wrap the arm for a Kimura, yeah. and then yeah. either roll. Sure or uh, switch to maybe another sweep. Kimura trap, super, yeah. um, super effective, super I have, easy I move. have not forgotten that. I, awesome. I look forward to awesome. that. Awesome, <laughs> excellent, Ryan. So you're here, gosh, three, four, five times a week. What, what would you say, how many times are you here at Hawaii Judo Academy? I would say I'm here about five days okay. a week. Awesome. Um, judo is, is two days a week at, for the moment, but excellent. other classes are here more often. Perfect. Uh, three or four days a week, I think. Right on. Do you, are you doing anything special for your, your recovery, for all the training, or are you just eating right, hydrating? Oh, gosh. So that's number one thing is 64 ounces of water 
every day. Regardless. Uh, if I'm not training, like over the weekend, I might dip down. Okay. But I got to remember and, and try to drink more. Uh, and I do find that when I'm not exercising, I drink less. So it's, I see. it's just something you got to think about. Another thing is um, electrolytes. Sure. Because uh, all of that water is flushing minerals out of your water, or yeah. out of your body. Um, I don't think too much about what I eat. Uh, I do try to eat more fish. Okay. Um, uh, but that's really it. Yeah. Honestly, I don't control that much more than that. I mean, I was doing a little bit of protein powder. Yeah. Uh, for a few months, and I know that that did help. I mean. So I've been doing this almost five days a week, but I haven't lost really any weight. So you've been maintaining your caloric Yeah, your, your well, I've been replacing is, sure. fat with, with uh, muscle. Right. Yeah, you're feeling your body composition change. You're feeling yep. stronger in different positions. The roles are getting tougher and tougher with you. So uh, Thank so, you. You're, something's working. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Ryan, finally, to close our interview here, um, anybody who's hesitant at home, um, maybe really wanting to down deep to start their journey in a martial art jujitsu or judo but kind of find the strength to do it do you have any um advice for them at home yeah you know i would say that um as with anything difficult um you have to start with one step at a time um and it's really just you on the mat not you against everyone else so think about that it's when you get on the mat think about doing that next step doing that next uh drill doing that next um, uh, sparring or rolling exercise. If you need to take a break, take a break. Sure. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's you versus you, not everyone else. Sure. Cause that's, you're, you're your own worst enemy. Yeah. So, um, you know, have the confidence to just take one step at a time. That's what I tell my kids when I'm hiking, you know, just focus on one step at a time and we'll get there. Excellent. Yeah. It's a long road, but don't think about the journey. Don't think about the road. It's the journey. It's the present moment, the day by day, step by step. Uh, exercise. Excellent, Ryan. Well, it's a pleasure, man. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you as a partner, a, a pleasure to have you as a colleague and friend here on the mats. And um, we look forward to many more roles, tough roles with you at Hawaii Judo Academy. Happy to be here. Right on, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs>